As men, one desire is universal. We all want attraction from women. I don't want to hide behind some fancy label or some fancy name. I want attraction from girls because of the way I look, because of the way I speak, because of the way I think. I want women to be attracted to me and I'm sick of all the self-improvement YouTubers hiding behind the Sigma male mask of, Ooh, I don't want women to be attracted to me. I still want women to look at me and think, oh, I would like to have this man. And of course you want this too. It's completely normal and it's necessary for men to have this. This desire that you have dri has driven men hundreds of thousands of years to do things that were absolutely necessary and that required an energy that would otherwise not be possible. God created men and women. He didn't create the men to just be alone. He didn't create the women to be alone. He created them to be together. So let's today find out how to build an attractive body and attractive mind so that women can look at you and think, oh, <laughs> this guy actually looks good. So science can say a lot, but fuck science. We're not here for science. We're here to make progress. So let's not fucking look at all the science studies and let's not look at everything. Oh, let's back up what we're doing with science. Shut up, nerd. Let me explain it to you like I would explain it to a three-year-old so you can understand it. A couple years ago, I was trying to do the same thing as you did. And guess who helped me back? Fucking self-improvement YouTubers who were telling me, oh, let's back it up by science. Let's tell him about the macros. I'm sure he's gonna care about it. I know that you don't care about protein. I know that you don't care about fucking testosterone or whatever. You don't care about these things. You care about the end goal, which is an aesthetic and attractive body. So let's fuck all the science. Let's, let's throw all of it out of the window. Let's look at what worked and what didn't. And I'm going to start with explaining to you what we're going to go over in this video. We're going to go over three main realms of improvement and they all hide under the roof of self-improvement. So we have three pillars, which are gym, diet and mind, which actually has two sub pillars, but we're going to get to that in a couple minutes. And we're going to start off with the gym, then go to nutrition and then go to improving the mind. All the parts of this are absolutely necessary because if you leave one column out, the roof isn't stable at all. And we need the roof to have a good looking house and therefore a good looking body and a well-rounded physique. So let's now start with the first thing, the gym. Now, first of all, many people make the gym so complicated and especially in self-improvement videos, this is a problem. They tell you about perfect rep ranges, perfect weights, perfect programs and everything is just optimized. And then you see some people like, for example, me, who have basically a freestyle training program who still seem to make more progress. I'm going to show my stats in this that I got from an analyst from an from a machine that I got myself analyzed by. And it shows you that I made 2.5 kg muscle mass, lean muscle mass in the past year or in less than a year, which is actually pretty good progress if you think much about that or if you know much about it for that matter. But let's not be concerned too much with numbers. Let's think more about what we actually want to do in the gym. And what you're going to do is very simple. You're going to get some training program and I literally mean some training program. And what you're going to do is you're going to go for rep ranges of 12 reps. That's right. You're not going to do more than 12 reps and you're not going to do less. The uh, optimal thing that you do on this training program is you do 12 reps and then you up the weight. So for example, I have done probably like 50 reps with this weight. I should up the weight, which is right now at probably seven or eight kg to about 20 kilograms. I should significantly up the weight because I can just curl this like air. And I'm getting a sick pump right now. <laughs> um, anyway, you should add as much weight as you 
can to the bar or to the machine so that you can do, I have to put these down real quick, so that you can do 12 reps. If you can do more than 12, you up the weight. If you can do less, then you keep the weight the same until you can do 12 reps and then you up the weight again. It's that simple. You need to think about how much pause you have between your, between your sets because it doesn't make a difference. You don't need to think about how many reps, how many rest days you have because it doesn't make a difference. I've made significant progress in the past year and I look awesome. I have no gym plan. I train like this, exactly like this. I go into the gym, I think, what do I want to train today? And then I just train in the way that I just told you. I train as intense as my body can handle. And sometimes I even black out in the gym. All of my friends ha can have testimony, have witnessed me train. And let's just say it like this, all of them broke down after training. And it's because I train very intensely, yes. And for me, it's safe to say that intensity is the only thing that really does make a difference. Everything but intensity is just mockers. It's unnecessary. You don't need to do three minutes of pause. You just need to do what I just told you. 12 reps, if you do more, then you increase the weight. If you do less, you keep the weight the same until you can do 12. Like this, you're gonna make progress no matter what you do. You can do as many sets as you want. I like to do high volume, you can do low volume, it doesn't make a difference. Now, let's get to the second aspect, which is nutrition. <laughs> Look at this arm pump, man. Now let's come to nutrition. Now, nutrition, many people think they can outwork with hard work in the gym. And it's true to some degree, yes. But you should not have to out-train it because then you're gonna make less progress. So let's just eat right and let's do it in the most simple way possible. I'm not gonna talk about macros. I'm not even gonna say the word protein or carbs or whatever. Many people make fancy science about this and I'm gonna make it as easy as probably anyone has ever made it. I don't think you have ever heard something explain nutrition this easily. Eat what you could hunt is what you need to memorize for this. Maybe you should write this down. Eat what you could hunt. Could I hunt this cashew nut? Yes, I could. Let me explain to you what I mean by hunt. By hunt, I mean gather or hunt in nature. Let me ask you a different question so you maybe understand it better. Could I hunt pizza? Could I gather pizza in nature? Of course, I could just throw pizza in the forest and then say I found it in the forest, but no one's probably gonna believe it. So just ask yourself every single time before you eat something, could I find this apple in nature? Yes, I could. And unless a snake recommended that I eat it, I can eat it. And there's nothing wrong with this diet. So if you can hunt or gather it, it's healthy. And you can show this diet advice to any nutritionalist, any fucking doctor, and I don't think they will be able to disprove it because it works. I have results for it to show, and I think you will have results for it to show that this is healthy if you only follow it. Now let's get to the next and last thing, which is mind. Now let's talk about mind and mental health because this is not talked about enough. Chads are killing themselves. Mental health has never been worse and it's because of TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm not gonna be telling you the usual shit that all the other people tell you like, quit porn and quit masturbation because they're the evil people. No, porn is not evil. Yes, sure, sure, it's also evil, yes. But in the Bible, 
it it says in the Gospel of John, which I read to this morning, Jesus is in front of Pilate and Pilate says, do you know that I have the power to free you? And Jesus says something along the lines of, okay, you have smaller sin than the guy who delivered me to you. And what is happening right now is that Instagram and Facebook or X or however it's called, and all these platforms that are basically soft call porn, if you look at it, it's naked women everywhere. They're basically wearing nothing. If you look at it, it basically delivers you into the hands of porn. So who is really the evil one? Porn or Instagram? Instagram. And I'm just going to say Instagram. Whenever I say Instagram, I also mean TikTok, YouTube. You know what I'm talking about. All social media is entirely evil because even the good ones, even the good healthy content is fastly cut and makes you basically want porn. The only thing that really helps, the only thing that is really good for you on social media is self-improvement. And that's like 1% of the whole social media sphere. Everything else makes you feel bad about yourself and therefore crave porn. But let me take a different approach at bad habits. Everyone else frames bad habits as the cause of your bad mental health. It frames porn, jerking off, which is mainly the cause of bad mental health. And of course, all the other things like not being in shape, having hormones that are out of balance, having low testosterone and high and high estrogen, all these things are framed to create bad mental health. I'm going to frame it differently. They are not the cause, but the symptom. It's like leg pain. You don't have leg pain and therefore you have tight muscles in your leg. You have tight muscles in your leg and therefore your knee hurts. And therefore, and let me explain this to you, therefore you don't watch porn because therefore, <clears throat> and therefore you don't have bad mental health because you play video games, because you watch porn, because you jerk off, because you waste your time, because you have a bad body. You have a bad body. You have this addiction for video games. You have this addiction for Instagram. You have a dopamine addiction because you have bad mental health. Bad mental health is the real cause. And we're gonna do two things with this routine that I'm about to put you on. I'm about to put you on a meditation and gratitude journaling routine. And what you're gonna do is for 14 days, you're gonna reduce your social media time to zero. I don't believe in mitigation or in reduction. I believe the only way you can get away from this is by cold turkey, just putting it out, just deleting the app and never installing it. The problem though is that most YouTubers talk about only one side and that one side is delete the app and quit the bad habit. But we have just learned that the bad habit isn't the problem. We've just learned that what they tell you is basically bullshit because the bad habit is only the symptom of something bigger, which is bad mental health. So we're going to get the apps away, but we're also going to work on the cause. We're destroying the symptoms by throwing the apps out, by getting it away from our availability. And we're also fixing the main problem the cause, which is mental health. I'm going to talk about porn because it's especially hard to defeat that later. But first, let's talk about basically everything in mental health. Meditation is like bicep curls, bench press, squats, and in general, the gym for your brain. I could tell you about all sorts of small things like studies, different meditation kinds, and different meditation effects. But let me just tell you that meditation does wonders for your mind and for your mental health and therefore helps you quit pretty much any bad habit and it will be easy to drop bad habits. They will drop actually by themselves if you do it right. 
And right now, I will actually teach you how to do it right. So close your eyes right now and just follow my voice for a couple seconds. Just close your eyes. You breathe in deeply and hold your breath for a second. And then breathe out again. And you pay attention to every small little aspect of your breath being. You feel the cold air coming in to your nostrils and just filling your lungs with air. You feel how the lungs are pulling in the air and you feel your nostrils and how they suck in as much air as possible. Now take one very, very deep breath. Take a deep breath and as deep as possible. Notice how full your lungs can get and then breathe out again. Now you can open your eyes again. Do you feel more focused? I think so. I feel way more focused even by just sitting here and while I'm explaining it to you, doing it, so I'm just doing it half-hearted essentially right now. <clears throat> I think you do feel more focused. Now imagine how you focused you would be throughout the whole day if you did this every single day for 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes of this every single day can transform your whole life into a more aware and less addictive life or a less addicted life, essentially. There is an app called Medito that will make meditation easy. I have been meditating for two years and I'm still meditating with the audio guides on there because they're just so good. They help me still to maintain my focus, to set realistic goals for meditation practice and to really settle into the moment and to only focus on the breath. What happens during meditation is that you basically learn to focus on just one thing, which is crucial for your mind. Because these days, we always have to multitask. We always have to do something that goes hand in hand with something else. We have to walk while we eat. We have to talk while we train. We have to listen to music while we lift heavy weights. We have to listen to a podcast while we sit on the bus and also look out of the window and also memorize what's on the podcast and also think about what we're eating today and also think about what we're training tomorrow. And all these things go constantly through your brain. If you did a thousand things every single day, you would be stressed out and fatigued at some point and you wouldn't be able to do reasonable things so your health would get worse. You are exactly the same as your brain. Your brain has no breaks. It is constant rapid fire for your brain. It has to think, it has to talk, it has to do all these things. And if you give your brain this rest time of meditation, you will help your brain massively to just recover from it. Even if it's just for 10 minutes, it will help. The longer you meditate, the better. But if you start, you have made 90% of the progress because everyone in your age, bro, everyone, you can outwork them all if you just meditate because 99.9999% of them aren't doing it. I bet no one you know meditates. I bet no one you have ever seen in your life has ever meditated for even one minute. So you will just be able to bypass them and the skill of mind, of mental health and of mindfulness, which is basically the thing you build with meditation. By just meditating for literally one second, you meditated infinitely more than them. You have done infinitely more work than them on your mental health. If you just take one deep breath Actually, you just did it by following along with the breathing routine I just did with you in the video. Remember that? That was when you got ahead of everyone you ever saw. Everyone. Because none of them have ever meditated. I guarantee you this. No one meditates and I wonder why because it's so healthy. And yes, it's hard. It's hard doing this every single day. 
if you do it wrong, but if you do it right, if you do it with this app, Medito, then it will be actually fun. And the way you do this is exactly how you do it with training weights in the gym, right? You pick up the weight, you do as much high intensity work as possible, and you put down the weight, and then you see, okay, I've have, I have done more than 12 reps, I should up the weight. And this is exactly what you do with meditation. You concentrate, you focus as much as possible on the current moment. You meditate as intensely as possible. And when you are done with your meditation, you see, okay, how intense was my focus? Was it good or was it bad? If it was bad, you either downgrade the time depending on how bad it was or you stay at the same time if you feel like, okay, yeah, I could do this better. But if you feel like, okay, yeah, this was this was almost perfect focus, and you up the time. You up the time by one minute, two minutes, three minutes, whatever. Whatever you feel like doing, do it. You have your whole life to try meditation out. You can meditate when you're sick. You can meditate with a broken leg. There is no excuse for not meditating, and you will only have the benefits of meditation for as long as you meditate. And as I said, the benefits of meditation is an addiction-free life, which to me is worth a lot. People go to therapy for thousands of thousands of dollars for of therapy, right? They go there and pay some therapists for the secret I just told you. Just meditate and you will be freed from most addictions. Just try it for yourself and you will be surprised of, of how good this works. Now let's talk about the next thing, which is gratitude journaling. So this right here is my gratitude journal. In this journal and in other journals of the same brand, I've been journaling for over, I think it was, I think it's a year now. And I've been journaling a year before that in other journals. Journaling has been beneficial to my mindset, very beneficial. I've been in hard sets of squats where I felt like stopping and I felt like giving up. Do you know that feeling when you feel kind of disciplined and when you feel like kind of good continuing? Yeah, I was above that. I was like, yeah, let's actually quit. It doesn't make sense. I just want to go home, go to sleep, go to my girl, whatever. But I didn't stop because of this. I wanted to write down in the evening, I'm grateful for pushing through the hard sets of squats today. And I did. I went through more hard sets. I made more progress just because of this. And I felt better for the progress that I made. I made days that seemed bad to me feel good. I got better sleep, better mental health, and more fulfillment and joy out of life by expressing gratitude every single evening and morning. And you can do the same for yourself if you just follow the steps that I'm about to tell you. And what you're gonna do is the following. You're gonna get a piece of paper and uh, a pen. You can also use a journal like this one and I'll link the brand that I personally like to use in the description below so you can get the same journals as me. I think they're high quality and I think they're worth buying because I think to myself one day, I'm gonna write in there something very important and I will want that to be documented and to be there forever. Now, how do you go about gratitude journaling? You do the following. You write down on this piece of paper with the pen you have, I am grateful that I did X. And you also write down, I'm grateful that I have X. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the thing that you do in gratitude journaling is you write down that you were grateful for the things you have. Don't write about experiences because then it's just going to be a regular diary. Write about the things you have. For example, when I write about my hard set of squats, I will not write, I'm grateful for completing the hard set of squats today. I will write down, I am grateful for the discipline that I had. I will, I'm grateful for the gym that I am allowed to train in. I'm grateful for the strength in my legs. This way, I don't only have one thing I can be grateful for, but five things. 
and you tell me what is better. Be grateful for one thing or for five. I think it's better to be grateful for five than for one. I like to write a whole entire page about one day because then I really have the space to express every part about the day with gratitude. An example of this would be, I am grateful for my water bottle because it helps me drink and stay hydrated throughout the whole day. This could be the journal you write this evening. Now what you do is you write, like I said, one full page of thoughts of gratitude down. You write half the page in the morning and half the page in the evening. The page in the morning will help you write down about the materialistic things you have. Like for example, I'm grateful for my bed. I'm grateful that I sleep so well. I'm grateful for the water bottle beside my bed because, because I had it. I didn't have to go down into the basement and get water from there. And I recommend you try it right now, regardless of what time of day it is, you try and write down 10 things that you're grateful for. If you feel better afterwards, just continue doing it. And if you don't, just try it for 14 days, just like meditation. This is a 14 day try. You will feel better, I promise. Mental health is important. And for me personally, it's a very important part about life. But we should see mental health and an aesthetic body and all these things that we can achieve, not as the goal, but simply as a tool. All the things that I told you are a tool for achieving a better tool. And an aesthetic body is there to get you attraction from women. What is that there for? for reproduction. So the real goal you have is reproduction, not an attractive body. Now let's not go too deep into the realms of goal setting. If you want a video on that, you can request that right now in the comments. Now to the final word, I'm of course a follower of Christ, as you see by my necklace here. And I just want to remind you that Christ is Lord and that the knowledge that I gave to you today came from him. Sometimes I just get these random thoughts in my head of videos that I should do and just the same happened today. And I thought to myself, let's make a video that would really help my younger self. And this is one. And most of the stuff that I told you today was completely freestyle. I don't like to script for videos because it constrains my freeness of talking and I enjoy way more talking without having to look down at a little book that tells me about the shit I have to say. The knowledge that I gave to you today came from Christ, so don't praise me in the comments, praise him who has basically made me. Now have a nice day, enjoy the grind and be mindful.